it's Katie Lulu coming at you with a new new YouTube video. Yes, that is right you guys. Today is a get ready with me and we are going to Miss Nebraska USA and Miss Nebraska Team USA. I got my lovely little rose gold jumpsuit on and we're gonna go watch a pageant. So I will include some pictures if I take any at the end of this video. So you might have noticed we're in my room, which is a little change of scenery because I didn't want to haul all my makeup downstairs to like where I usually film because it was it just been a big mess and I was on a time crunch. So I hope you enjoy the change of setting. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and keep on watching if you want to see how to get this look. Hello everyone, the first thing I did to get ready was tan with the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express because the color of my jumpsuit, I would have totally blended in with it if I didn't self tan. Next I go in with the Touch and Soul No Pore Blum Primer, which I've been liking lately and it makes your skin feel super soft and smells super good. For foundation today, I'm mixing the Infiable Total Cover and the Infiable Pro Glow Foundations in the shade 306 and 203. And it just sprayed everywhere. Uh, most people use a palette and like mix it and I just draw all over my face. So yeah, that's fun. The next thing we're gonna do is blend, blend, blend. I actually do not like these foundations on their own, but mixed together, girl, I love them. The next thing we're doing is taking our tart shape tape, it's amazing, and it's in shade light neutral and we're just drawing all over our face on the high points to highlight and then blending that in with a real technique sponge. And then there's a random clip of me showing both powders because I forgot to show them earlier. So yeah, and then I just bake as I go, which most people bake at the end, but I bake as I go. So there's different techniques for everyone. And then I just wipe away my bake with a big powder brush and the next step I'm going to do is my eyebrows off camera because my camera battery was kind of low. So there's my eyebrows. <laughs> next we're going to go in with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and prime those eyelids. Next what you want to do is set your primed eyelids with a powder. I do this with the single infallible shadow that's close to my skin tone. Today we're going to be using the Carly Bible Pro Palette and first I'm taking that tan color as our transition shade and just blending it in that crease, girl. I'm going for a mauve look today so we're going to take that mauve color, blend it in the crease but a little bit below and blend it in with that tan color. And then taking the darker mauve color, put it on the outer third and blend, girl, blend. After you are blended to perfection, you're going to want to pick up a setting spray. I'm using Urban Decay All Nighter and you're going to want to spray your brush, wet that brush, and take that champagne shade and put it on the inner half of your lid. And once again, I'm just blend, blend, blending until I like how it looks. Next, I'm going to go into the Tartlet and Bloom palette and take the shades Leader and Activist and kind of just darken up that outer third a little bit. Next, we're highlighting our brow, bone, and inner corner with Jeffree Star's Ice Cold Highlighter. The next step I never really did until my makeup artist who did my makeup for Nationals did it, and that's lining my waterline with green. And I loved how it made my eyes pop. So I'm using the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eyeliner in dark green. And then I'm just blending some of that mauve color into my lower lash line. Time to work on those eyelashes. After I curl my lashes, I go in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, which is an affordable mascara that has been surprising me. It's really super good, so I suggest it to all you guys. And then I put on the Ardell Lashes and Wispies, and then move on to bronzing my face with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. The next step is gonna be contour, and I do this using the Kat Von D Shade and Light. I usually use the lightest contour shade, but today I'm kind of mixing the light medium since I am tanner than I usually am. And I'm just using this to carve out my cheeks, and then I carve out that jawline as well. Next, I am doing blush. How cute is this blush brush that my cousin got me? Shout out to Shelby. Anyway, my blush color today is Party from Tarte. I know a lot of people just go on the apples of their cheeks, but I like to do my blush kind of like my contour vertically so that it lengthens my face. 
For highlight, I'm going back into the Carly Bible palette and using that champagne shade. And you just want to hit them high points of the cheeks, a little bit above the eyebrow, the bridge of the nose, and the cupid's bow. My cats are playing with each other, so hopefully you can't hear that. But the next step we're going to do is go into that Kat Von D Shade Light palette and contour the bottom lip. This makes your lips look so much bigger. I'm weird because I do my lips right before I'm about to leave, so I just went right into setting spray, and I usually use MAC Fix Plus and then my Urban Decay All Nighter, but I like mixed up around and my skin wasn't as smooth, so I kind of messed up on that part. But other than that, that is it guys. And yes guys, that is it. That is me getting ready for the Miss Nebraska USA pageant. And I finished off my lips with this Marc Jacobs lipstick called J'adore, or J'adore, I don't know how to say it. And then this Kylie lip gloss in So Cute. So this is the final look. It is my basic go-to glam. Hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, do all that. Give me more ideas for future videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!